Grateful for your time. Let's now get into the details of our stories. The National Democratic Congress, NDC, is calling for the resignation of Attorney General Godfrey Deboadami due to the ongoing ambulance purchase trial. Richard Jakpa, the third accused in the trial, has made serious allegations against the Attorney General, claiming that he was contacted at odd hours to implicate Minority Leader Dr. Keso Atoforsin. The opposition NDC has announced its intention to present evidence supporting their allegations. There is more in the following report. Richard Jakpa's revelations have sparked significant discussion, particularly within the National Democratic Congress, NDC, who view the Attorney General's actions as unethical and an attempt to secure a conviction against Dr. Kiesel Atoforsen, the first accused. Speaking on City TV's current affairs program, The Big Issue, Abraham Amaliba, Director of Conflict Resolution for the NDC, emphasized that Attorney General Gottfried Yebo Adame should step down if he cannot disprove the allegations. Amaliba stated that the NDC will soon release evidence supporting claims of the Attorney General's involvement with Richard Japa. The prosecutor's success is not measured in accordance with the number of cases he has won, but it is measured in the number of uh, cases that he has played it fair to all manner of persons within the, uh, the, the, the legal system, I mean in court. Mm. So I think that um, at this point, Godfrey Dame should resign. He should resign. He should resign. Over, because, an, over an allegation, over an, just an allegation. No, but the camera will see it. In fact, next week, we have promised to put these things out. You will hear his own voice. His own voice trying to. Uh, you hear his own voice. A3, A3 to, to implicate. To implicate the minority leader. Minority A1. leader. And so I think that it is in his best interest to resign before this evidence is adduced. Because mm -hmm. he knows. He has met the accused person several times without his lawyer. He knows. He has met the accused person and spoken to the accused person in times that the accused person himself described as ungodly hours, all in an attempt to get the accused person implicated the first accused, uh, yeah, the third accused, implicate the first accused person. It is not heard at all for an, an, an attorney general to be seen to be doing this type of shenanigans. Godfrey Dami just thinks that he must have his way when prosecuting a matter. Meanwhile, the Attorney General's office has been defending against claims of misconduct in its engagement with Richard Chapa. Isaac Wilberforce Mensa, spokesperson for the Attorney General's office, disclosed that a Supreme Court judge was aware of the situation. The focus of the office is on prosecution. We are not going to um, be swayed by diversionary tactics amongst others. The Attorney General is resolute in his mandate under Article 88. Mm -hmm. Now, with the issue of the Supreme Court judge, what I can say for now, what I will say for now, is that it was at the instance of the third accused person. And it was obviously to, to, to negotiate a plea agreement in that regard. So this is really much ado about, about, about nothing. Everything that was done was done according to the books. And speaking of the books, maybe I should just go to the books because some statements have been made that it wasn't with this lawyer. And this same lawyer, note, this same lawyer, after they went to the judges' chambers and they came back out, this same lawyer came to apologize to the Honorable Attorney General. If it was a conduct that was offensive to the lawyer, should it not be the Honorable Attorney General apologizing to the lawyer for the third accused person? Private legal practitioner Justice Srimsai commented that Richard Jackpa's revelations suggest significant prejudice in the ambulance purchase trial. Even if I know I'm guilty, let's say even if I'm accused and I know I did what they have done to me, and the trial takes this thing where confidential document, document that are without prejudice, play bargaining, I mean, discussions have been released by no mere person, by the attorney general to the public and to political activists to be spreading on social media. If I'm convicted, the question is, would I think, would I think that the trial is fair? That is the second one. Now, the general public, what would the general public feel if at the end of this, 
the accused person is, 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 is discharged or acquitted, they will say, ah, the judge has probably gone for some whatever and is now giving judgment because in their mind, they are looking at a very powerful, a very powerful lawyer, attorney general, releasing this document which shows, which for them, they understood to mean the guy had even admitted guilt and was trying to beg for mercy. But that is exactly what plea, plea bargaining is not. You see, so if you put all this together, then, then you can hardly see any fairness in this, regardless of the outcome of the case. Some way, somehow, the desire to feel that the trial has not been fair, the trial has been prejudiced, is very high. And it's, it's a very terrible thing. That is why I started my speech by saying that, look, this is very bad. It's, uh, it's at all time low of, of whatever we have been having in, 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 in this country as far as criminal justice is concerned. Meanwhile, panelists on the big issue have also been discussing Senate's decision to sell a 60% stake in four hotels to Rock City Hotel, which is linked to Food and Agriculture Minister Brian Echampo. Dr. Koju Asante, Director of Advocacy and Policy Engagement at CDD Ghana, stated that the deal poses a potential conflict of interest and should be halted. I think the process has to be halted. The matters that have been raised are, are very serious, and, I, um, and and you know when when the Citizen Coalition had its press conference uh, 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 this this week, one of the things we we raised is that the the profitability of 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 state of state owned enterprises uh, is one of the things that have been flagged in the IMF uh, program as one area where, you know, uh, government has to do a lot more uh, in, 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 in tackling. And, you know, when you have uh, assets that are working uh, in your favor, one will wonder why you want to uh, divest of those assets. Not on Member of Parliament Samuel Okujetua Blaka revealed that the deal is nearly finalized, urging the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice charge to expedite action on his petition against the sale of the shares in the four hotels. Uh, SNIT is in the final stages about to finalize this deal and hand over the hotels to uh, the Honorable Brian Champons Rock City.